We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is, when opportunity knocks, take it hostage. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're taking a first look, uh, I don't know, an early access coverage. I'm not sure what to, to label this as, but... Uh, it's going to be Septo Road of Voyager by Rockwell Studios LLC, releasing into Steam Early Access on June 1st, 2023. It's from the same folks that brought us Hibiko Satori, which I just, I adore. I think it's a great game, and I still want to play it more. It's been on my mind and on my to want to playlist for several months now, and I think I even have an episode or two that I haven't posted yet, so we'll see. Anyway, anyway, I, I do want to get back to it. I do want to beat it at some point. Uh, fantastic game. Uh, Scepter Road Voyager is going to be something different, but again, from the same developer. And a big shout out and thank you to said developer for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I do truly appreciate it. So there's campaigns and new, and I, and I played around a little bit, so I have some idea what I'm getting myself into. It feels like the new game might be might be like kind of like the storyline, and then campaigns are like an infinite. It says. Uh, Scepter Road Voyager on a large procedurally generated map. So it's kind of a, kind of a just go and it's going to be different every single time and so on and so forth. So you know what? Let's try that. Let's try that. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand. See, I didn't understand this before. I understand now. So if and when there are additional campaigns, maybe the story campaign eventually comes on through. Uh, we'll actually see the available campaigns here. So we'll have options like the Infinite Roads, where you have the large procedurally generated map. Then you'll have, like, Bob's quest for independence or something. I don't know. Whatever the, the storyline quest would be. And then you would choose which one you want. And then you would go back here and you would start a new game with said campaign. I understand now it all makes sense. All right, new game. So procedurally generated, and it looks like we get a kind of a different character every time. I had an individual that looked similar to this, not exactly. Um, like I think he actually had hair, and I don't think he had the sunglasses. Uh, his name was Ojo. Uh, then I also had a woman, Shakira, with pink hair, pink and white hair. And now we have a Sigurd, and that's fine. We're going to go with Sigurd. Sigurd. What is this place? Where am I? Those are good questions. Unfortunately, I don't have time to answer them in detail right now. Is this really happening or am I dreaming? Well, both. A uh, dream doesn't have to be less real than waking. Technically, it does. But well, that is a discussion for another time. Please follow me. There is much I need to tell you, and I cannot stay here long. And she turned into mystical pixie dust. Cool. All right, move with your left analog stick, and then uh, options can be changed in the options menu, X or circle. Oh, I had a big shout out and a thank you to the developer for including PlayStation symbols and buttonology, because I appreciate that, because that's what I use. So, appreciate that. All right, so here we are. We're walking around. We're looking cool. We got ourselves a knife, a knife, and of course, we also got ourselves some little booties and just like clothing. All right, we're going to follow the mysterious woman. She went this way, to the left, to the left. Oh, there she is. It's so hard for me to keep my mind in two places at once. I must keep concentrating. No, they are breaking through. I'm sorry. I must close the chair. I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh, what? Wait, what? No, no. Wait, where are you going? What's going on here? What, 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 what are these things? Oh, no. All right, if we hit the X button, we can bring up the combat menu. We can use the up and or down d-pad to basically select options and do the stuff that we got to do if you choose a basic attack your character will continue attacking the same target until give it a new command yeah. all right and as it starts off that's all we've got so let us begin nope oh no let's let's battle the delta okay i guess i'm switching to the alpha switch back to the delta there we are get get smacked Hello? Hello? Uh oh. Ah! Epsilon's after me! Okay, I. Hmm. 
I, I think since I kept switching that I am now kind of stuck. Okay, maybe, maybe now I can fight something? Alright, we're just going to cancel action, okay? Alright, I'm starting with Zeta, I guess. And now I've moved over to Floaty Delta. Oh, 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 no. I'm stuck. Okay. And now I'm going down to the Beta. Out of Epsilon. I don't know how I got, like, out of sync there. I'm sure it was something that I did silly. Yay! Oh, that is really weird. Oh, yeah. So the ground has fallen from the sky and is now uh, traversable. So we have traversable to fight it. And now we are up here. Where the air is thin, maybe. Probably not. But I'm sorry, you're not ready, and I don't have more time to explain. I'm going to need your help very soon. You and six more make seven heroes who will need to be ready. For now, you must go. Gather and prepare. I will visit you again soon. What a strange dream. It must have just been a dream. But then why am I covered with scratches? If I scratch myself in my sleep and dream that I was fighting monsters. When you complete quests and defeat enemies, you earn skill points, which you can use to unlock new bonuses and abilities. To spend your skill points, press the start button. To open the pause menu, press up and down to navigate X to open the party menu, and then navigate to unlock skills. Yep, got it. Alright, so, start, party, unlock skills, and I am going to unlock that. What is that? Uh, Arming sword. And, um, aha! I guess that's it. It's the arming sword. I don't know that I have an arming sword, but I've unlocked it. You will want to save your progress occasionally. This is a save point. Save points like this can be found throughout the world. Use them to save your progress. Also, if you are wounded, you can heal your party at wells like this. These wells can only be used once every 60 seconds. To use wells and save points, approach and press X. X. Eggs. Excellent. All right. We are going to save. It is glorious. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to drink. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to talk. It's Farmer Murray. <sighs> Defeat turkeys. These pesky turkeys have invaded my farm. Please get rid of them. Okay. And we'll get an arming sword. Perfect. A buckler and some florins and SP. All right. Um, so we have available and we have active. But I can't do anything. If I press right... My highlight box and available disappears, but it doesn't highlight anything on the quests itself. So, like, we're probably highlighting Turkey right now, but that's not indicated anywhere. And also, the accept button further right. Oh, if we keep going, we can actually get that. Okay. So it's like there was just a there's just a middle part there that's not showing that we've indicated it or highlighted it. I guess. All right, well, oh, there's the turkey. Let's go and get some turkey. Gobble, gobble, turkey. Gobble, gobble. Oh, my God, it's a rabbit turkey. Well, is it a rabbit or is it a turkey? It's a rabbit turkey. Ow, it bit me. It bit me with this little meaty arm. Hey, I got a ragged feather. Prepare yourself, Alpha Turkey. Aha! You didn't plan for my amazing attack strategy. Oh, he just goes right over the fence, huh? I am undefeatable. Infatigable. Alright, I don't really think that helped me uh, doing the runaround. But it is a fun thing to do. Oh, apparently I aggroed something 500 miles away that I never saw. And I one-shot it. Wait. Did I backstab it, maybe? I don't think so. I'm going to try to kill me an Epsilon turkey here. Oh, oh god. Epsilon turkey's angry. Ah, don't bite me. I'm a delicate flower. Oh, he crit me. Don't sound okay, man. 
I don't know where all you've been. It's four out of five turkeys. Go get the alpha turkey. Show him two four what four eight four six four 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 family family. Oh, the turkey dodged. Come on. And you're done. That's right. Never saw it coming. All right, we are going to drink. We're going to come over here. We're going to do the quest thing. We're going to defeat the turkeys, and we're going to complete it. Here are an old sword and shield. I think you can make better use of them than I can. If you don't know how to use them yet, you can unlock the appropriate skill on the skill board. Oh, and I just remembered your friend came looking for you while you were fighting those turkeys. A new quest is available. Find your friend and find a trainer. Your friend came looking for you. She said she would wait at her home down the path. And if you're going to leave the village, I recommend that you visit the tactics trainer first. All right, so my recommendation, and I know the developer watches and listens to the stuff, so we'll definitely uh, hear it. Um, if there's only one quest, or even if there's not, don't have anything selected yet, maybe? I, I don't know. Maybe just, like, you get here. But, like, when we go over to it, at this point, it should be selected like it is now. I mean, like, when we go up and down, this is great with multiple things. But just coming from the left over, it, it just doesn't... Like, there's no indication that you really did that other than the thing on the left disappears. So there, it'd be nice to have something that indicates that it went over into the finder friend area. And then from there, apparently, we didn't have to go over to accept. We could just accept it from this middle column, which is cool. I would just like to see that middle column have something that indicates that your cursor or your selector is on top of it. I think that would be uh, really all that we need. All right, um, we... We got ourselves the thing of something and stuff. It was a arming sword. And you know what? I think we also got some SP for that. Yeah, I want to get ambi amb ambidextrous. Can't say words today. It's fine. Which basically allows us to do more damage with our offhand weapon. That sounds wonderful. Also, the skill bravery, which I don't know how that works. But we have it now. And cheer. Uh, don't know. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. And if we go here, and then we go to equipment, and then we do the short dagger. And yeah. And then, oh, down here, fundamentals, bravery. What does it do? What is, I mean, that, that would be probably pretty useful. All right, I'm just going to cast it. I don't know what it's going to do to me. Hello? It, it, it made me brave. To, again, not, not, not real sure what that means or what that did, but by golly, I did it. I done did do it. Uh, I don't know if there's a reason to do any kind of exploratory things at this particular junction. But, uh, yeah, we'll head down the road. Oh, and, uh, if, if, I, did, if I didn't give you the, the old wink and nod, uh, Mr. Developer Man, uh, I really, really appreciate your uh, title to the game. It was the second that I saw it, it made me smile and laugh a little bit. So, uh, kudos and, and shout out for that. It's, it's pretty good. It's quite funny. I like it a whole bunch. Hello. I hope them them their turkeys didn't do you too much trouble. Uh huh. Cool. Hey, it's my friend. Join me, friend. Now that you have helped the farmer with his turkey problem, we can go have some fun. Talk to me again. Add me to the party. All right. Well, you were a female friend two seconds ago, and now you're a male friend, so. I we're gonna turn you back to a female. But I'm gonna keep going until I, I get a name that I can maybe almost pronounce. Maybe. Meta. No. Nishi? Sure. 
All right, we got our we got our friend Nishi joining us. You now have a new party member, R1L1, to switch. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, you, you know the old head with sorry, Hedge Wizard said he had something for me. Eh, do you mind if we go talk to him, see what he has? Ah, eh, whatever. Wait, why is your chat bubble still here? I didn't see it. Nobody saw anything. It's probably because you were messing around doing this a thousand times in a row. Yeah, no, that that could be it. Uh, I don't think I need to go to the inn. There are a lot of monsters out here in the woods. You'll need to be careful. You'll also need to use different tactics against different monsters. Flying monsters, for example, are hard to hit with melee weapons. You'll need to use bows, guns, or throwing knives against them. And slimes cannot be harmed with regular weapons. You'll need to use magic against them. Thanks. Bring me some feathers. I need to replenish my arrows. Can you bring me some fletching? Sure. I could probably do that. Where does this take us? I don't know, because nothing is visible behind the giant mountain that keeps coming into the frame. I'm hanging out by some turkeys again, huh? Oh, oh, oh no. I don't, I don't know. Let's get out of here. I don't think I was supposed to go this way. But I do believe that this is one of those things where... We absolutely can go that way if we really wanted to. This seems to be a game where you're going to be able to pretty much do what you want. Wander around and get into trouble and kind of make your own journey. Your own adventure. Yeah. I think I might have bugged that out a little bit. All right, defeat pumpkins. Please help me. Someone has casted a fight. I'm a bit of a spell on my pumpkin crop, and now all the pumpkins are attacking me. Can you go defeat the angry pumpkins? Yeah, I know. That sounds like a thing I could maybe do. I don't know. Never fought a pumpkin before. How hard can it be? Oops. Stop it. Oh, uh, quest. Deliver tools to Sunrise Falls. My blacksmith friend in Sunrise Falls wants you to try out, or wants to try out some of my new tools. Can you deliver those to him? I mean, I guess. Do, do we know where Sunrise Falls is? There's a map, right? That is not helpful. I mean, it's a little helpful. Uh, south, I think. It's, it, it This needs work. <laughs> the map needs a little bit of work. Can you zoom in or do any? No? Okay. Well, if you could zoom in, or it was a bit more clear, or less writing on it, maybe? Hey, a squire, isn't that the... Yeah, we gotta find a squire, alright. Quest. Uh, if you're going to leave the village, I recommend that you visit the tactics trainer first. Okay. Ah, I'm glad you came to see me. I heard you're on your way out to explore the world. Well, the world can be a pretty dangerous place. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you are to stay safe out there. Remember to set your tactics in the party menu and enable tactics to let your party members take make their own decisions in combat. Okay. Oh. Okay, tactics. Uh, character can choose their own actions through the tactics system. Party tactics. Got it. And the tactics can set conditions. Automatic. Okay, got it. I, th I think I know what's going on. All right. Let's uh, see if we can't set up some tactics here for you. Uh, tactics. Okay. On target and condition. Enemy. What? What? No, oh, man, this is slow. Uh, I'm like wondering what options we can set. It looks like nearest and was it any are the only two. All right. So this guy sells tactics, right? Leader's target. Now that I like. I don't have enough florins for it. Cause all right, so here here's my thing that I think is going to happen. If we have enemy, sorry, if we have en no, it works. If we have enemy any and enemy nearest. I think what's gonna happen is as we're walking down the road, we're like, eh, I don't want to fight that thing. Uh whoever has tactics on is just gonna run like a crazy person and just start murdering the thing. So I feel like that's not a good thing to have. So I think the enemy leader's target means that I have to hit something first or target something before they go crazy and start attacking it. 
So to me, this is a 100% must exist thing. Um, I would even maybe say the developer should make this a default one at the start, maybe, instead of making us buy it. But again, it doesn't really matter. It's pretty cheap, I think, considering I don't know how much or how we make money or anything else. So, ah, either way, cool. Um, you're an alchemist or something? What are you? Research. Research? You've got nothing worth researching. That's that's fair. Quest. The Old Wand. The hedge wizard said he had something for me. Do you mind if we go see what it is? Okay. I bought a new wand in Sunrise Falls. I couldn't decide what to do with the old one. Then I remembered you two fools. You'll need a magic wand for dealing with those pesky skull birds and those nigh indestructible slimes. Just don't shoot dry out with it. If you don't know how to use a wand, someone in the scholar character class can unlock it on the skill board. Okay. Oh, I got you. All right, so... I'm going to assume that we're an adventurer and you're a... A scholar? Yes. And you don't have anything unlocked, but we have SP, so we can unlock that. What's this? Study. What does that do? I need more information. Like, I, I've got things, but I don't know what any of it means or what it does. It would be nice to know those things. Like, exposed weakness kind of makes sense. I, I kind of get it. But what does study do? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, and then we got to go to equipment and give him the initiates thing. I, I mean, I don't think I want him to have a dagger. I don't think it'll help. It might. I, I don't know. All right, well. Yeah. It's a thing that we did. All right, cool. So... We know there's a path off to the southwest. We know that south is where Sunrise Falls is, but there's also this path going this way. There's no indication uh, as to where the pumpkins are or what we have to kill to do feathers. They did mention skull something birds. Skullomania birds or something. So I assume... We'll run into... Oh, oh, there is a zoom out feature. Oh. I didn't even realize, like, I was just kind of, like, holding the... Uh... Oh, that's, that's neat. I like that. Oh, I didn't really want to battle the turkeys, but okay. I guess this is what we do now. Get him, Nisha. Nishi. Nisho. N -n Nishashi. Yeah. Get him again. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know how useful that was, but we did it. Oh, there's the pumpkin. No, 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 no. I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, I've attacked the slimes. Oh, I've made terrible life choices. Attack the pumpkin. Ah, the slime hurts. I don't like the slime, it hurts. Could you attack the pumpkin, please? Nope. All right, we're running away. Eh, eh. At some point, it should de aggro, right? Like, it has to. Okay, good. Alright, we're gonna head back to the thing. I did a very bad job of everything there. I'm gonna see if I can't sell something. I don't know that we've necessarily gathered anything, but... But I, I definitely would like to sell some stuff. If that's possible. Okay. Uh... Not really worth a lot, are they? I'm going to sell a dagger. I'll 
so all my ragged feathers. I have a I have a green ragged feather. Strange seed pods. I don't think I should sell those. All right, that didn't really help me that much. All right, well we're gonna head back. We're gonna try the battle with the pumpkin again. I got really out of um, out of sorts there. Also, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weird. That, oh, uh, well I think he's stuck. Uh, it's a little weird that like we we targeted something a thousand miles away. I also wouldn't hate having an active time pause when we bring up our uh, we bring up our uh, stuff here. Like I'd be totally down with that. I think that would be great. Why are you so far away? There it is. Yeah, it's pumpkin soup. Why the slimes are so close to the oh oh the, oh god the angry pumpkins? Okay, stop stop walking so close to the stupid stop it hey stop walking so close to the slimes. Uh, pumpkin gamma, pumpkin gamma, come on. We did it. That was weird. Um, why is it why is it always two of them? Okay. Uh, oh no. I, I, I aggroed the slime. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to flee. I'm, I'm holding down the square button right now. Oh my gosh. Right, we're going to defeat two more pumpkins, and I, I don't know how we're going to do that considering. Well, hold on. We, we got some pumpkin soup or something. Can we do something with that? Not at this particular moment. Okay, well. Pumpkin alpha. Why? Why are you coming toward me? Don't do that. Magic him! Alright, we just need one more. Oh, that pumpkin didn't even drop anything. What kind of terrible pumpkin is that? Uh, why is there always doubles? I just want a single pumpkin to hang out with, you know? Yeah, yeah, come here, pumpkin alpha. Do it. Stop it. Yeah, we did it. We're heroes. Okay, cool. So we got some bread root. We did we did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh that was painful and unsatisfying. Uh once we have the gambit set or the uh tactics, excuse me, uh set to attack my target, I think that's gonna be much easier than having to kind of bounce back and forth between the two. Also, I don't know why Nishi always seemed to grab aggro over everybody else. Uh, we defeated the pumpkins. Those pumpkins keep coming. Uh, I bet that scary fellow with the pumpkin head has something to do with it. Defeat the pumpkin head. Uh, I found out who's been casting spells on my pumpkins. It's a weird pumpkin head fellow who lives northeast of here. Please put a stop to him. Then return. Okay, that would have also... Another thing that would have been nice is if the last quest told us it was in the northeast. I mean, we, we figured that out, but it would have been nice to not have to figure that out, just to be told. 
All right, sell. Uh, do, do I have five plain feathers? I feel like I shouldn't. Oh, I can sell this. I don't, I don't know if selling this is a good idea, but I want my dang thing. Also, sir, apparently I may or may not have the... It says I have one, even though just there it's... Oh, wait, wait. It's probably one for five silver money florins. That's probably what it was. All right, let's go here. I at least want to try the tactics out once we, we get this situated. Leader's target. All right. So, now, let's set Nishi's, or Nishi's, uh, thing. Uh, party tactics. You on set target condition. Leader's target. Scholastics. Oh, from here we can see what it does. Reveals your enemy's strengths and weaknesses. Eh. Not really what I... We'll just do a basic attack. Okay. I think that's fine. Alright, let's go Let's go give it a shot. And then we're probably going to kind of have to break it off. Um, still don't know whether I want to do a first look or if I want to do... Like, just a, a few, like, a few episodes of early access and then come back to it as, you know, things progress and stuff goes on. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, get, well, I, I said I like that. So I've targeted it, and Ni Nishi's not doing anything. So the tactics apparently don't work. Well, that's kind of annoying. I thought maybe it was waiting for me to hit it the first time, but nope, just just flat out doesn't work. I, maybe I did something wrong. All right, well, let's go. Let's go try it again. Okay. So, oh, okay. Hold on. That's probably why I didn't have a party leader selected. So that would make sense as to why it did not work. Tactics are on for. For Nisha. Okay. For Nishi, rather. Hey. Hey, it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh my god, we obliterated that guy. Sweet. That's fantastic. I really like that. Is that a pumpkin? Nope, it's a skull bird. Hey, come here, bird. Bird. Uh oh. Oh no 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 so many pumpkins, why? Oh no, oh my god. Alright, alright, we're running. We're we're trying to run. Well, maybe maybe we don't have to run actually. Well, attack, attack, attack. Get a sw swang on him. Uh pumpkin. I'll take the pumpkin out again. Do not aggro do not aggro that thing. Please stop wandering over there. Well, if there was a way to keep my mage from like just running at full speed in the opposite direction of enemies, um, and a little closer to like, you know, the area that we want to fight in because there's just a whole bunch of stuff wandering all over the place. That would be good. Um, you know, a lot of interesting and cool ideas. It's a different type of game. I, I like seeing the return of the art style. i uh, heard some of the same sounds and music uh, a little bit here and there. Um, yeah, I, it's got it's got a lot of potential, I think, anyway. And uh, I am very curious to see how the game progresses as it is developed. I very much would like to come back to this uh, a few times and uh, just see you know where things are at, uh, how much smoother or easier it is, uh, how many things are added, and just the, the ideas and changes that are coming through. 
Uh, so one of the things that some developers do is they come at you with a fully finished game, essentially, and they kind of want to gauge, like, fan or player base uh, reaction, and they want to get some, like, testing done on, like, various different systems, and the last little bits of polish and bug uh, squashing is being done once they hit early access. So they have, like, usually those are the folks that you see have, like, three months stints in early access. They do that, or even six weeks I've seen. And then, boom, they launch the game, and it's all ready to go. And then other developers take a different approach where they have a good idea, a good concept, um, and they've kind of built it out, but things are still early days. But it's playable, so you can get a a rough idea and, and a feeling of how the game is going to play and how the game is going to work. And then from there... They, you know, throw it over to the fans and let them see, you know, this is this is my idea. This is what I'm working with. Um, how do you guys like it? And what are your thoughts? Uh, what can I do differently? What can I do better? And so on and so forth. And they really want people to be involved in the development process and give a lot of feedback and so on and so forth. Now, some games get caught in like 10, 15 years, maybe not that long, but seven, eight years. I've definitely seen, I think I've seen a few over 10 years in uh, early access and they just never launched the game that happens too so i definitely understand when folks don't want to go about uh, playing an early access game but at the same time i often do get my hands on games during early access and i always enjoy my time when i do get to play them so now to be fair i will also very rarely play a lot in early access because i want that you know show you guys the game and then kind of you know, let it cook a little bit, maybe come back a few times. And then when the game is fully out, I'm like, oh, I remember where it was and where it's at now. This is incredible. And and I like to see the finished product. So, yeah. Either way, guys and gals, for more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, or any of that stuff, it's all going to be down below in the description of the video and various links. Which, uh, excuse me, links, just like it always is. My throat decided to try to kill me there. Uh, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.